Let's talk about the five huge benefits of client SEO. So like I mentioned, number one, you are the boss. And for me, this is really the most important because I wanna have absolute control over my life and I wanna have full accountability of my success and my failures. So when you are the boss, you're, you're responsible for both of those, the successes and the failures. And to me, that's extremely liberating. And so building an SEO business, like I'll be showing you, is really, in my opinion, if I could pick one business model that that's someone who's new to business or trying to make money online, this is the business model that I would recommend because it actually is sustainable and it actually can produce large amounts of income. And this is unlike doing affiliate marketing or even trying to make money through ads where you need such a high volume to even make any money that even makes it worthwhile. This is much different because you get one client, like I showed you, paying you even $1,000 per month. Imagine getting five clients paying you just $1,000 a month. That's $5,000 a month. How much difference would that make in your life to be able to make an additional $5,000 per month? I know for me, my goal was just to make $3,000 per month. And of course now, make much more than that, but still my goal was just to make $3,000 because I thought that would absolutely change my life. And the truth is, uh, making hitting $3,000 per month had a huge impact on my life, but now where I'm at, it's really made an even bigger impact, to be honest. So, But the point is that you can be your own boss and the limits to the amount of success you can achieve is, is endless. Next thing here is you can work from home. So if you see the the interest for people to work at home is absolutely huge. I mean, looking at this result here, 425,000 jobs for work at home, okay? But most of these jobs are pretty terrible. And a lot of these jobs are ones that I actually tried in the beginning before I built my SEO business. And a couple of those were like doing paid surveys or writing essays you know, for college students, which I'm not super proud of, uh, or even selling my, my college books, trying to make money as well. So I tried a lot of these things. I even did data entry as well. I tried all of these different remote work from home jobs. And I'm telling you, you will make absolutely pennies compared to what you will make actually building a real business, building a real SEO business. Next thing is, is passive income is actually possible. And so a lot of people don't think this. When they think of agency work or they think of client work, oh man, it's gonna be so hard and I'm gonna have to work 12 to 16 hours a day. That is only true if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have systems in place and you don't know how to build a team. All of those things I'll be talking about, and, and that is the way that you can make this passive. The truth is, I don't spend a whole lot of time doing SEO, actually doing it. I'm the architect of our system. I'm the one that's at, at operating at a high level instead of actually operating in the weeds. And so, of course, in the beginning, you're going to be working a little bit harder because you're building up these systems and all that stuff. But the end goal is to have the systems and have people operating within those systems so that you can scale and ultimately not have to work as hard and your, your agency starts to generate passive income for you. Next thing is financial security. And so, you know, Warren Buffett says that the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. And the more you learn, the more you'll earn. And I absolutely agree with this because I've experienced this myself. The truth is though, Financial security isn't just about money. Yes, money is a big piece, but it's also about your skills. And so I learned this concept when I first got started. Fortunately, I learned it very early, and it's if you understand how to get a business more customers, you will never be broke. And so this is actually a concept from Dan Kennedy, and it has stuck with me to this day. And once I learned this, it, it made me realize that understanding how to do SEO, which is ranking on the first page of Google, which ultimately allows businesses to get more customers, that if I understood that skill and I could do that repeatedly, I would be more valuable because I knew how to get more customers. And it's absolutely true because now I'm so confident that I don't have to worry about finances or anything of that nature because I have a skill that's extremely valuable and in demand in the marketplace. And I want the same for you. Also, if you want to make more money, you need to become more valuable. This is another quote that stuck with me for a very long time, and I didn't realize this while I was still in school, but as I started to learn, I, I discovered this, I realized, okay, well, if I wanna make more income, then I need to become more valuable, and to become more valuable, I need to have more skills. And so one skill that'll make you much more valuable is obviously this ability to drive more customers 
using SEO. And lastly, the amount of money you make is directly proportional to the amount of value you add to the marketplace, okay? So if you're not making a ton of money, then it's probably because you, you're not adding a ton of value to the marketplace. So to put it in, in perspective, someone at McDonald's who is just working at the cashier, as a cashier, yes, they have an important job at McDonald's, they have an important job for our economy, but as far as how much value they're adding to the marketplace, it's not, it's not super big, right? It can be, they can be replaced and the new person can do that job. So the, the, the amount of value that's actually being added to the marketplace isn't huge. Now compare that to someone like Jeff Bezos. The abil his ability to build businesses, his ability to create products and add value is absolutely huge and therefore he gets compensated for that ability. So this is to show you the difference in the value that can be added and this is very important. And the way we add more value is once again, we become more valuable. And lastly, the other big part of building an SEO business that makes it so incredibly valuable is that you can achieve financial freedom and don't let the media fool you, okay? There is actual data proving that 80% of America's millionaires are first generation rich. They weren't given money to ultimately become wealthy. They built it themselves. And so don't let the media fool you. Don't, don't believe this concept that all rich people are bad because if you believe that, you're definitely going to have some problems making money yourself. But the truth is building an SEO business, I truly believe is the best way to achieve financial freedom. And it's not necessarily you know, to become a billionaire, we're not trying to do that, but it, to have the freedom to never have to worry about your bills again, that was my initial goal. I wanted to never have to worry about my bills again because I grew up with a single mother who was constantly stressing out about her bills and it, it created a lot of turmoil in our household. And for me, that was my biggest motivation. I just wanted to never have to worry about bills again. So honestly, within the first couple of years of running my SEO business, I completely eradicated all my debt. I had over $40,000 in student loan and car debt, completely crushed that, haven't been in debt since. And as you can see here, my net worth has been climbing and climbing every single year uh, at a faster and faster rate because like I mentioned earlier, over time, as you do this more, you're gonna become more valuable, which means your earning ability will become much higher. So those are all the benefits of doing client SEO. Now let's talk about the system I'm gonna be showing you here. So this system is called the Lean Agency System. And so this is a system that I, I've been teaching now for a while. And the reason why it's called the Lean Agency System is because it's not about building an agency where you have you know 400 people working for you. Now, if that's something you definitely wanna do, there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna scale to that level, please do. But the truth is you don't need to have many people to deliver incredible value, you need really good systems and the right people who can work within those systems. And the truth is, you don't also need the most expensive individuals to achieve that goal because with what I'm going to teach you is we're gonna become systems dependent. That's gonna be the foundation of our business is to be systems dependent, not necessarily people dependent. Now we need people to work within those systems. We need people who are self-motivated and we're talking about that. But let me show you the three different parts of what this system looks like. So first, we have start. So very simple, you know, before you can even get into the systemized portion of this, this system here, you have to actually start. And so anyone who has is making below $20,000 per month is in this phase, which means they need to be 100% focused on client acquisition. So once you start acquiring clients, then we can move into the next process where you can start to systemize and break out of that plateau and bring it to the next level. So the systemized portion is 100% based upon building an SEO machine so that you can produce predictable first page rankings for all of your clients every single time. So if, you, if you're if you worried about, oh man, like are we actually gonna be able to drive results? If you have those doubts, it's because you don't have a good system in place. So this next part is absolutely critical. And then the last part, once we've, we've got our nice pool of clients, we've systemized our processes, now next phase is to bring people in who are, who can operate within these systems and ultimately communicate with the clients and drive results for you. So then now you're operating as a CEO and not so much as an SEO. So with no pun intended, let's start with the start phase here. So there are three parts of the start phase. First is attack, the next is attract, and the final part is close. 
So attack is about, you're gonna be going out there and finding clients. Attract is we're going to actually be bringing clients to us. We're gonna be putting content out so that they can actually find us and get in touch with us. This is the best lead generation type. And then lastly, once we get those leads, we need a process for turning those leads into actual clients. So that's what the close process is all about. Once again, you don't need to be good at sales. You just need to follow the same process over and over and refine that over time. So the best method for the attack phase is to simply use Upwork, okay? There are many other methods that I teach, but this one I would say for most people is the absolute best option because you can go into Upwork without any experience and you can start to apply for jobs starting today. Right now, you can start applying for jobs. There is no delay. So if you're new to this, I highly recommend immediately going on Upwork, creating your profile, working hard on your profile, make it good. But the truth is profiles are actually not super important how deep it is. What's really important is the quality of the proposals that you put in. And ultimately, not just that, having a consistent cadence for applying for jobs. So if you wanna get more clients through SEO, then you should make a commitment to, to send proposals at least one per day, okay? So once you've done one per day for 30 days, I recommend going up to two per day, and then eventually three per day, okay? But we wanna develop a very, very achievable goals but ultimately scale that up over time so then we can build up this pool of clients. Now Upwork is just for the beginning because the goal of getting clients on Upwork is to build your portfolio, which then you can leverage that portfolio to get even more clients. But in the beginning, the number one priority that you need to have is you need to build your portfolio because that's gonna make everything else easier over the next months or years. So absolutely the priority and Upwork is really the best place to begin. Next is you need to focus on attracting clients. So once you've built out a nice pool of clients, you got some good recurring revenue coming in and you're starting to get pretty confident in your SEO processes, what you need to do is you need to start attracting new clients. So I'm gonna walk you through a few different pieces. So what you're looking at here is blog content from the gotchaseo.com blog. And so you know this particular blog post, I published the first version of this maybe in 2015. This blog post alone has driven me I, un, an ungodly amount of leads, okay, for, for many different things, for my agency, for my training, uh, for consulting, you know, whatever it is, this one blog post has done so much for my business, it's insane. Uh, and so this is the type of stuff that you can do is you can create this informational piece of content at the top of the funnel to really educate people and attract people into your world. So blogging is really one that has stood the test of time, but you have to really be able to do it the right way. But this is just a really good example of, you know, you wanna focus on the top of the funnel. So blog is the first. Next is YouTube. A lot of people fear video, and I'm telling you that's a huge mistake. Video has absolutely been one of the biggest things for growing my business by far. It's not even close. So when most people get in touch for our agency or they apply to join our, our training program, Gotcha SEO Academy, almost all of them come from YouTube. I mean, it's very common that they'll say, you know, where, where did you find us? They say YouTube. Uh, and so the truth is I used to be horrific on video. So you can even go and look at my old videos. Look at the ones when I first started. I was so embarrassing, embarrassingly bad at video. And the truth is, I just stuck with it. I just kept going and I kept producing. And now I feel much more confident on video. I have a lot more to improve, but I just cannot stress how important it is to get comfortable on video. You don't need to be Gary Vaynerchuk. You don't need to have a ton of charisma. You just have to put in the work and ultimately produce content consistently. Next thing is try to get interviewed. So once you have some good traction, you've got some client results, then you can jump on some interviews to start to leverage other people's audiences. So here's an example of me being interviewed. I'm tapping into Jared's audience to bring them into my world, right? So with these other two methods, we're hoping in the case of the blog, we're gonna attract traffic from Google, organic traffic from Google, which then can convert into leads. With this, we're hoping to attract organic traffic from YouTube, which once again, we can send to our site. And in this, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to attract his audience over to my world. So then ultimately I can convert them there as well. So there are many different ways to attract leads, but these are just a couple that you can rely on. Number two is once you've gone through the start phase and you've got a nice pool of clients, you got some good lead generation coming in, now we need to talk about systemizing. So systemization is absolutely key. And this is why most people get stuck in that 10 to $20,000 per month mark, because 
It's not super difficult to get to those numbers once you use the methods I just showed you, but it's very difficult to get past there. And the reason is almost, I'd say 99% of the time, it's because of a lack of systems. So I'm gonna show you what good SEO systems look like right now. So there are seven parts of a successful SEO system. The first is the actual system itself, okay? That's the broad terminology. So in this case, SEO as a whole is one system, but it's actually one system within a broader system, which you could say is search marketing. And then you could go even further out and say it's actually a system within digital marketing. And then you go even further and say that digital marketing is a system within marketing. And then you know we keep going further and further out. But in the case of this example, SEO is the system, okay? Next is processes. So within a system, you have many different parts. So in the case of SEO, we have keyword research, we have doing audits, we have link building, we have on-page SEO, the, the list goes on and on. So we have all these different processes. And the reason why keyword research is a process is because within keyword research, we have procedures. So procedures are the actual step-by-step -step checklist that you need to follow to that helps integrate and ultimately it's the building block of a process. So within keyword research, we might have, you know, find existing keywords, find low hanging fruits, uh, find clustering opportunities. These are all procedures and very specific to, you know, this overall process. And then to support these three different things, we have templates, we have reference docs, we have demonstrations. You need to actually create video to show people how to actually do that task. And then we have tools. So these are the seven parts of a successful SEO system or even just systems in general. And so this is really, really important to understand. Now, let me walk you through what this kind of looks like. So first is, as I mentioned, the system. So what you're looking at here is the exact template that we use to manage our system within our agency. And we also, this is the exact system we teach inside Gotcha SEO Academy as well. But if you look at this, you can see that on each of these tabs, you know, we have the start, we have the keyword research, and then over here we have the SEO content audit and it goes on and on. Now, like I mentioned, this is the system, this whole thing and all these tabs, this massive thing is the system. Then within here, we have keyword research, okay? So we have, this is, the keyword research is a process. And then within the process, we have each of these individual procedures, okay? So keep walking through this, you'll see we have the processes, and then we have the procedures, which goes into here. So this is a singular procedure just to show how to find clustering opportunities. So clustering opportunities are keywords that are ranking from positions 50 to 100. And so this is, shows you the step-by-step -step checklist on how to actually find those, right? And so really a system is really just a combination of a bunch of processes and a bunch of procedures. But on top of that, you also need the templates. So that's why we have a keyword research template, we have an SEO content audit template, we have all these templates to be able to organize all of these actions that we need to take. Very, very important. And then also, we have demonstrations. So we wanna demonstrate how to actually do these tasks. So if you're trying to grow your team, they need to see over the shoulder how you actually do it. And this makes a huge difference. I can't stress this enough. You can show them the check by you know the step by step checklist on the on the procedure, but if they don't actually see you going through it yourself, it's much harder. So you need to have this demonstration part as well. And then lastly, also reference docs. The reference docs are to support this larger system and all the different procedures as well. So you need all these pieces working together to really build an effective system that allows you to move into this next phase of the process, which is the scale part. Now, scaling is definitely a more advanced topic. So definitely if you're kind of new to this, this will seem maybe a little more foreign. I wouldn't be too concerned about it because honestly, if you just mastered the start portion and you get the systemized portion in place, this part actually isn't that difficult. You just have to learn some new skills. First one is you need to adopt a CEO mindset, okay? And so when you're an SEO, you're a specialist. You do one thing really, really well. But to grow, you have to stop just being an SEO. You have to become a leader and you have to lead your team to success and you have to let your team do the important work. You have to trust your team to be able to do that. Now, here is how you can move from an SEO to a CEO in your agency. So first, never do the same task twice. This is absolutely critical. If you see over time, you're starting to see, okay, I'm doing keyword research every single time. You need to catch yourself. You need to catch yourself doing the same task because 
then that's an indication that you need to build a system and then delegate that work to someone else so you don't have to do it again. Next thing is prioritize who over how. And so once you have the systems in place, we need to find people to work within those systems. And sometimes, depending on what you're dealing with, so in the case if you're trying to grow your own agency and maybe you wanna do Facebook ads to drive leads, it does it make sense for you to try to learn it yourself or does it make sense to go and find someone who's already successful at Facebook ads and learn from them? That's absolutely way smarter. And I've done this countless times in my business where I needed to fix something in my business that wasn't working super well. So I just found someone who's already achieved the goal that I wanted to achieve. And then I just tell them to show me how to do it. And once I know how to do it, then I can systemize it. And once again, delegate it, right? But you need to see, you need to see the light. You need to see that, that framework of how to actually take care of it. And the best thing to do, find someone who's already achieved the goal. Next thing is you need to eliminate all fear of delegation. This is the biggest thing that I hear all the time from agency owners who are stuck is they're just like, man, well, I'm so good at SEO. I just don't trust that someone else can do it as well as me. And they won't, they won't do it as well as you if you don't have systems in place. But if you have the systems in place, which the truth is a system is all it is, is just taking what's in your mind that already exists, all that experience, all that work that you've already done and putting it in a format that someone can follow, okay? So instead of them, instead of hoping that people will just read your mind and uh, you'll help them become experts through osmosis, that's not gonna happen. You need to get the stuff that's out of your mind, put it on paper, and put it in a digestible format so that your team members can follow your thought process, follow those steps that really are in your mind, and now they can go through it many times, and ultimately that helps them learn, that helps them become more skilled, and ultimately that makes your life actually easier. Also, you have to see people as an investment. People are not an expense. That's a huge mistake for beginners. They think that getting people on their team, they look at it as an expense, big mistake. And the truth is if you, if you view it that way, you're actually gonna have a hard time even selling SEO services because when you're selling SEO services, you always have to talk about how SEO services are an investment in their business. So you need to view your team and building of your team as an investment in your own business, very important. And lastly, lead by example. You have to constantly be leading by example. And it's so key because everyone who's in your organization, everyone who's in your, your SEO business, they're watching you. And if you're not leading by example, then they're going to follow you whether it's good or bad. So try to lead by example. And now let's talk about why you should invest in SEO team building. So the first is time leverage. So when you have people working with you, they're taking care of a lot of those tasks that you used to do, which means you have freed up time. And when you free up time, you can focus on what's actually gonna help move the business forward. You can focus on building more systems, which then allows you to scale even faster. You can focus on finding new talent to bring onto your team. You can, you can focus on business development and getting more clients. That time is so critical because we cannot get more time. We can only invest and ultimately get our time back because at the end of the day, that clock doesn't stop ticking, right? The, the clock is always ticking. So we need to be looking for ways to really leverage our time. And the way to do that is through building systems and bringing great people onto your team. And they will help you, those two things will help you free up your time, which then allows you ultimately to focus in on the things that really matter in the business and not things that are actually not going to result in more growth, okay? So our, we, as the CEO of an SEO business or CEO of any business, you need to be focused on growth and the future and the direction and the leadership of this organization. So that's what this allows you to do when you start to build a team. It makes a huge difference. Now let's talk about the three deadly sins of building an SEO team. So number one, thinking you need to hire a guru for $70,000 per year. This is a huge, huge mistake. So there are a lot of businesses that do really well, they get up to 10, $20,000 per month and they think, okay, well, I'm, only, I'm the only SEO here, so I'm just gonna go and hire another SEO to bring on my team. Big mistake, because what you're doing is you're creating a culture of having to find the next guru to bring onto your team. And that's not what you wanna do. You wanna build a culture where you are systems dependent. So you've built these systems and you need to bring people into these systems and train them up on those systems. And, you, and so instead of relying on a particular individual, you're reliant on the system. So when something isn't going super well and you're not getting client results, you don't look at someone and say, hey, Joe Smith, why aren't you getting results? You say, oh wait, it's not Joe's fault, it's the system's fault. 
and we need to fix the system. We need to refine that system and see why we're not getting the result. But you always go back to the system. You never, you never go back to the individual. Now, of course, there are bad hires, right? It happens. That's not a big deal. But most of the time, it's usually a problem with the systems, not necessarily a problem with the people. Also, on top of that, in the beginning, you don't need to hire the most skilled individual to come and work with you. You can work with virtual assistants. You can bring entry level people on who don't have a ton of experience with SEO, but they're willing learners and they're willing to learn your system. So don't think that you need to go and hire someone for seventy to hundred thousand dollars per year in the beginning. That's actually a huge misstep. Number two is thinking one person should handle multiple roles. That's not a great idea. You should have somewhat. You should have specific responsibilities based on situations. So in the case of SEO, you have people who are, can be kind of the overall strategist on the SEO campaign. You can have a virtual assistant who's gonna do all the data entry and managing of the data. You can have someone who just creates SEO driven content. And you should also have someone who's just doing the really technical work like development, all that stuff that you'll see within an SEO campaign. Don't try to get someone to do all these roles because as you know, a jack of all trades is a master of none. We want people who specialize in these specific roles and we have one person who's the overall manager of all of these operations. Next thing is thinking the person should figure it out. And this just goes right back to the systems that we talked about. If, you, if this is your mentality that Joe Schmo should go and just figure it out, that is not leadership. That's not leadership. Leadership is, is setting your team up for success. And the way we set them up for success is to have systems in place that make their job easier and ultimately a, a system in place where we can go and tweak it and optimize it and improve it. Okay, just imagine, for example, if Toyota or any of these car manufacturers, if they just relied on some person just to figure out their systems or just figure out how to make cars, like that wouldn't work super well. So they need to have systems. They have everything in place to be able to, to create the same vehicle every time, almost with a tiny margin of error. So don't, don't do that. We need to really focus on building systems. So those are the three deadly sins of building an SEO team. Okay, so now let's talk about how I can help you even more. So this process that I just laid out, the start, the systemize, and the scale is the exact process that I teach inside my program, Gotcha SEO Academy. So Everything that I just showed you, I'm gonna show you in this beginning phase of the start, I'm gonna show you how to get that first pool of clients. And I'm gonna walk you through the exact process that you can use. So you just need to follow the process and you'll start getting that first pool of clients, which are so absolutely critical for the long-term success of your SEO business. Next is the systemized portion. Now, here's the funny thing. I showed you how to build these systems yourself. I showed you what the good systems look like. But the truth is inside Gotcha SEO Academy, you don't actually need to build any systems because I've already built them all for you. So you're gonna literally be following my exact systemized process that I've tested across hundreds of successful SEO campaigns. Not only that, I've also had thousands of people use my systems and they've also had success. So no, no, I'm, when I say this, no SEO system has been tested more than our SEO system, not a single one. And it definitely will work for your clients because we're using it right now. I'll talk about that in a second. And then the last piece of the program is talking about how to actually scale all of this to the next level, okay? So back to the start phase, I'm gonna show you how to attack, which means I'm gonna show you how to go out there and start getting clients. Next, I'm gonna show you how to actually attract clients to you, which I think is the best long-term strategy. And then I'll actually walk you through exactly how to close these leads, how to take these leads and turn them into high paying clients for your SEO business. Next phase, I'll show you how to systemize this entire process. Now, like I mentioned, all of these parts are already systemized and these are the exact, the exact, when I say this, these are the exact SOPs that I use, the exact processes, the exact system for all of our SEO clients. And it's always funny because I'll show our existing members like actual proposals that we close and I'll show them like, this is exactly what I'm showing the leads when I close them and they're, they think it's so funny because I'm actually, this is really what we're using Using, like in the actual sales process, in our actually fulfillment process. Now, here's something that's really cool about this. You'll have access to this whole system, which is undoubtedly the most tested SEO system you'll ever find. But also on top of you, you'll have the processes, which is keyword research, SEO content audits, all that good stuff. But then the, the part that I think is so incredibly cool is on the procedures. 
These procedures, like I mentioned, the exact procedures we're using right now. So my team goes in here to execute these tasks correctly. And the good part is that all of these, since we're using these and I really have to keep them updated or otherwise my team is not going to do very well. So these are constantly being updated. And of course, the members of the academy will always have access to these updated procedures and SOPs. Now, on top of it, we have all these templates that are by far not even close. No one has templates like this. It doesn't even exist because these templates are specific to our program. No one else has these templates. They're only unique to the Gotcha SEO Academy program. And then also, all of those demos I talked about where you have someone over your shoulder showing you how to do all this, I'm actually doing that for you. This isn't some bait and switch where you think you're signing up to learn for some guru and then it's some random guy teaching you. No, this is actually me over the shoulder like I'm doing right now, showing you how to do this SEO work like a top 1% SEO expert. And you're gonna see exactly how to do it. Also, reference docs, you're gonna have all the reference docs that you need to do this absolutely in the most effective way possible. That is the core program that you'll be learning from, but also you're gonna have this community. And so this community we're super proud of because we made a decision a while ago that we were gonna get off Facebook. And to do that, we had to build our own custom platform. So now we have this custom community built into our platform and it's absolutely golden because at any point, 24 seven, you can jump in here, ask any questions that you have at any point. And me or any of the SEO experts or agency owners will be here to support you ultimately and help you through this process. But now let's talk about the thing that I think is the most valuable part of this, which is the coaching. Okay, so the coaching is absolutely huge. And as you can see here, 93 coaching calls I've done. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I get on a call and I help the members of our program ultimately achieve better results. So either through SEO or their agencies or whatever they're working on, we can work through whatever it is. But I show up every Tuesday and Thursday. And like I mentioned, this isn't some bait and switch where you think you're signing up to learn from the expert and then you're not. No, you're, I show up for these and I've found it that it's absolutely critical that I show up personally because you signed up to learn from me, you signed up to get my guidance, so I wanna be there for you. So like you can see here, I show up every Tuesday and Thursday to help and it's, these calls range you know, on the low end, 43 minutes, on the high end, an hour and 30 minutes. But the good news is we have them all recorded. So if you miss one, you can just go right in here and rewatch it. Most importantly, if you look over here in the corner of this little search bar, every single one of these is searchable. So if I talk about anchor text or I talk about how to close a client or whatever it is, you can go in here and search it and you'll be able to find the exact coaching call where I talked about that topic. Okay, so this to me is the most valuable part of this because the truth is I charge a thousand dollars per hour just for one-on-one -on -one seo consulting a thousand dollars per hour and that's not a joke i have people paying me right now a thousand dollars per hour for seo consulting okay so it is a real thing you think about this you're actually getting eight calls every single month so put that in perspective if you were to pay me one-on-one -on -one for this it would be a total of eight thousand dollars per month for eight hours okay so Think about it from that perspective, it's it's really valuable. And you think about long term how much that investment would be, it'd be pretty substantial. We'd be talking about a you know about a six-figure yearly investment to work with me one-on-one -on -one for SEO. So think about that for a second. You're getting that within the program every Tuesday and every Thursday. But on top of that, you're also gonna get certifications. So no other program has certifications like we do because these are not easy to get. This isn't just some little easy test that you take and you can get a certification. You actually have to go through the program and really, really learn this and understand this. So the first one is SEO Specialist Certification, which is our tier one. SEO expert certification, which is I'm teaching you the systemized portion of the SEO program. The SEO specialist training, just so you know, is more like SEO 101 to kind of give you the framework if you're kind of new to SEO. This one is very systemized. So this is what I was just showing you with all the, the systems and the processes and the procedures. This is what this program is. And then lastly, the master of SEO certificate is only for people who've gone through these programs and they've been able to demonstrate that they've been able to get SEO results. So only a small percentage of people really ever earn that certificate because it's very difficult to earn and that's by design. So once again, tons of value in this program, I can't stress it enough. And if you're serious about 
starting, systemizing, and scaling an SEO business so you can ultimately live a really amazing life and not have to worry about bills, have financial freedom, be your own boss, work from anywhere, all of those things are possible when you build an SEO business the way that Albany is showing you. So let's talk about the next steps. Next thing is you need to click the button below if you're interested and apply for Gotcha SEO Academy. So there, this is an application and the truth is we only accept roughly 31% of people. So out of all the applications we get and we get a lot, only 31% of those go to the next stage because we only want people in our program who have a high probability of being successful. And ultimately we see certain qualities that we know the odds of them being successful are very high, okay? And so this is just for us because our student success is our success. So we want to put ourselves in the best position to make sure that our students are succeeding. Now. This program, it, it has everything you need to succeed. And so what we're looking at in these applications is if you have certain qualities that would prove that you are entrepreneurial in nature, you're willing to learn, and ultimately you just are serious about making a change either for your life or in your SEO business. So if we see that in your application, then there's a good chance you'll get approved. And once you get approved, you'll be speaking with my partner, Simon, and he'll see if there's an opportunity for us to help you. This isn't gonna be some high pressure sales call, I promise, it's not gonna be that. But Simon's just gonna see if it's a good fit, and if it's a good fit, he'll just make you a very, very simple offer to join our program, and he'll talk about how much it will be and all that good stuff. So that's it's really that simple. So once you decide to join, you'll get an opportunity to join our community of hundreds of successful SEO business owners, okay? And so I just can't stress it enough how important it is to be around other people who are doing what you're doing and who are serious about achieving goals. The truth is you really are the sum of the five people you're around the most. So the good news is if you show up every Tuesday and every Thursday and you're around all these people all the time who are doing exactly what you're doing, trying to achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve, and you're talking to people who've already achieved your goals, you're really improving your odds of success because you're surrounding yourself with people who have already been there, have already been through the mud, and ultimately will help you avoid a lot of the pitfalls and mistakes and help you crush any plateaus that you're currently dealing with. So what you need to do is apply now because spots are honestly limited. This isn't some sort of scarcity tactic. It's actually because we think that we need to limit how many people join the program any given time because it allows us to focus in on getting them results. And the truth is these calls, we, you know, we, we don't want to have hundreds of new people joining these calls at one time. We want to onboard people slowly, make sure that they're happy, make sure that they're getting the results that they need. And then we you know, bring new people on when we feel comfortable. So at this point, we're capping it at 20 new students per month. Okay. So once we hit that number this month, we, we cap it and you will not be able to apply. So that is why it's absolutely critical that you apply now because spots are absolutely limited. This is not some fake scarcity. So all you need to do now is just click the button below. It'll take you to an application page. You can see all the testimonials and all the good stuff, all the success we've achieved for our clients and our students and submit your application. Be as detailed as possible because honestly, if you just submit like a one word type of thing, you're, you're not going to make it through. That's part of the reason why only 31% make it because that 31% of people that make it to the next stage actually they actually say why they, they're a good fit for this program, okay? Yeah, you need to kind of sell yourself a little bit. And ultimately, if you are serious about starting and systemizing and scaling an SEO business, this is the best place to be. You will not find a better program. And I can say that with great conviction. So I'm super excited to read your application. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to watching your success. And in the meantime, I'll leave some testimonials that you can watch from existing Gotch SEO Academy members. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hi, my name is Paul Ho-Ching and currently right now working on a campaign with a new client. He does a uh, neurophysical therapy. So that's what we're currently in right now, uh, getting him up in his area down in Miami. Uh, I was led to Gotch SEO Academy actually through my business coach um, and a mastermind that I'm in. He just recommended, you know, we wanted to get somebody who can actually coach us and walk us through the next level of SEO. And so he recommended we hop on uh, with Nathan and, you know, get into the academy. And that's what we did. That's what led us to enrolling just because we wanted and realized, hey, if we need to be able to dominate in the healthcare space, we needed to be able to have somebody who could take us to that next level. Uh, gotcha SEO Academy has helped me because it's taught me things that 
I knew, I, I thought I knew this much. And so I got to the academy and realized I only knew this much. I only knew the basics. And so it's really expanded my mindset and it's expanded my ability, you know, to be able to deliver um, results for my clients. And the best thing about Gotch SEO Academy, honestly, for me, it'll be two things. One, the weekly calls. And then two, just the inclusive community, being able to have like-minded individuals working towards a goal that I'm working towards is really awesome. Hi, my name is Aaron Trump and I'm with HVAC Marketing Engine. We help HVAC companies on their digital marketing campaigns. And this includes anything from SEO to PPC campaigns or anything like a website redesign or updating a website. Now, we had initially been um, interested in, you know, SEO training and really taking our internal systems up to the next level. We had been familiar with Nathan's, you know, YouTube channel, his website, and I had read, you know, plenty of blogs from Nathan. So the trust was already there, but we had done some initial digging and we were really, really were looking for, you know, of course, it's really going to help us take our internal systems to the next level. This is, you know, including the SOPs and stuff like that that could really help, you know, our internal SEO team um, use an actionable and step-by-step -step, um, level of instructions and steps to really, you know, fulfill our client SEO campaigns as well as our own, you know, our own agency website as well. So um, I can't even, I can't even stress, you know, how good Gotcha, gotcha SEO Academy has been. Um, not only is our internal SEO systems really up to speed nowadays, but just with the coaching calls and stuff like that, we're really just able to have a more confident approach to every SEO campaign that we run with our clients, whether it be our website. So, you know, just the internal SEO systems has really taken our game to the next level. And I'd say within the four to five months that we've been that we've been using these systems and day in and day out that we have learned more in these short months than we've learned in I'd say four to five years now. And I got to say that, you know, the best thing about the overall Gotch SEO Academy um, course is got to be the, the coaching calls, you know, aside from the internal SEO systems that you're able to, you know, copy and paste in your own agency. The, uh, the coaching calls that we have every Tuesday and Thursday are just such a great opportunity to, you know, really just speak with people that you trust or speak with people that are doing some of the similar, similar things that you're doing and really just ask Nathan and some of his team, you know, really just some of the questions that you don't normally get to ask of, you know, just other individuals or consultants or anything like that. So I do find that the coaching calls that we have every week have helped out just a ton. And I really do appreciate everything that Nathan's done for us and his team has done for us to lay it out in a very easy way. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Noah Kane, and I am currently uh, building out my own SEO agency. I've been doing that for almost a year full time now. Um, I enrolled in Gotch SEO Academy after a few months into my agency journey, um, and the biggest thing, um, you know, biggest factors that went into that were I knew a few few other SEOs who were super successful, very successful, that had gone through the academy as well. And in addition to that. Um, you know, I've always really enjoyed Nathan's content um, and the value he brings on, on YouTube and, and online on his blog, et cetera. So I find him, you know, very genuine and, and someone that I feel like I felt like I could, I could trust um, and uh, and knew that other people have had success, you know, at the Academy as well. Um, so I felt pretty confident going into it. And um, in addition to that, you know, I was also at a point in my uh, business journey where, you know, I was having some success and, uh, you know, in the past, I've experienced a, you know, positive return on investment anytime I've invested in myself or my business. So I was at a point where I recognized I needed to make the next investment in my business. And uh, that proved to be, you know, the right call. Um, some ways that the Academy has helped me, um, it saved me uh, a ton of time when it comes to, um, you know, creating SOPs and, and thinking about SOPs for my business. Um, so it's provided a lot of structure for how I do things um, and allowed me to tweak my systems in a way that, that makes a lot of sense. So it saved me a ton of time. Um, in addition to that, you know, the, the weekly calls, you know, there's two uh, weekly calls with Nathan and uh, the other SEOs in the program. And those are invaluable. I mean, you can ask Nathan questions. Uh, you get to learn a ton about um, what the other SEOs are working on and, and learn from their questions too. Um, so I think, you know, the best thing overall about the Academy is that you have direct access to, you know, in my opinion, probably one of the best SEOs out there, and you're going to have systems to help you with your business and a community that is directly focused on SEO, and it's going to completely transform and alter your business. If you ever get stuck, you're going to have somewhere to go um, to help you get, you know, get through that and get to the next level. So if you're having any reservations about signing up, just sign up. You're going to love it. Um, it's, it's 
seriously one of the best investments I've ever made. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ahmed Hassan, owner of digitalskillscafe.com. And um, today I just want to recommend um, Koch SEO Academy, which was really a an very interesting experience for me. Um, having that single source of content for SEO. I mean, since I've uh, since I've taken this course, since I'm in this program, I haven't actually looked up the word SEO on YouTube at all. Um, all my SEO information I take from there now. Uh, there's a group section where the community talks and asks questions. Nathan, Nathan uh, answers them live, and um, there's also a, a coaching call every well, two coaching calls every week, which uh, you can ask questions, submit audits submit your work and have it verified by Nathan if you have a few few questions you want to ask, something like that. Um, I really can't recommend it enough. The certifications are great. They look awesome. And uh, having, having that, that certification on LinkedIn is just, uh, it's just, it puts you, it sets you aside from other, other SEOs. You know, you're, you're certified by a, a, a real uh, top expert in the SEO industry, one of the best in the world. And Honestly, I can't say I can't say more about it. Um, uh, you really have to try it out. There is um, there is a, a section also for learning SEO, all about SEO technical aspects, um, on page, anything backlinks. You, you you can learn all of that stuff. And uh, but primarily myself, um, I was looking for for more of a of a system and uh, uh, that approach because I already knew how to do SEO and I already. I already am doing consulting in SEO, but I wanted to have a structured approach where, where a, a system that you can repeatedly use and scale with uh, multiple projects. And uh, I have to say, I was, I was, re I was really happy with what I got. Um, the platform for, I mean, the course for for the for the systems is is really an SOP driven program, so it, it has all of those set standard operating procedures. Uh, shows you how to do this, how to do that, how to implement uh, your your SEO uh, anal analysis that you've done. Have an audit, a complete audit of all the website, all the opportunities prioritized. I mean, it's really it's re it's really the best SEO content and program that I've seen up to date. Um, it's so full, it's so it's so powerful. Um, try it out. I mean, I was on the fence for about a day when I saw it. Uh, uh, available, but uh, that's that's more that's not more than than what I was on the fence for a day. <laughs> Jumped in right away because I knew it would be so powerful. So uh, yeah, check it out. I do recommend it. It is really the best SEO program you can find out there. My name is Mike Smith. I'm a member of Gosh 3.0. I've been following Nathan for several years via his YouTube channel as well as his newsletter, and always appreciated the amount of substance that he brought to each of those. Generally, SEO content is super watered down, the same regurgitated knowledge, but he, he would always inject uh, some useful stuff in there and in for free. So when I found out about Gotch 3.0, I was super interested. I've been doing SEO for 13 years now, and I'm really passionate about building my own websites. Uh, not super crazy about client SEO, but I do take some on uh, here and there. And uh, I got to say, it's one of the best professional investments I've ever made. Uh, his processes, the systematic way that he's laid them out uh, is something that's allowed me to scale and integrate other people into the process. I had a lot of the knowledge, but being able to pull it all together in a way that I could really involve other people in the process uh, was not my strength. And it's something that, that, that his system, the investment in it has allowed me to do and really free me up to, 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 to be that much more efficient uh, as well as take on other projects. And, um, you know, I, I, I've got to say, I also really like the, uh, the weekly calls. He makes himself super available. It's a very positive environment and something where it's like, there's a, there's a bunch of SEOs looking to grow and he will take the time to answer questions anyone has and um, you know, continually kind of just provide additional information and and um, and guidance, and it, and it's something that I I don't I, I'm obsessed with SEO. I love it. I live it. I breathe it. And I sleep it. So I, I really truly uh, appreciate the opportunity to come better at at it. So uh, if you're on the fence about whether or not to do it, I, I genuinely encourage you to give it a shot. I, I can't imagine 
would be a better way to spend uh, that kind of money if you're serious about becoming a better SEO. Hey, my name is Paul Eternal. I'm a member of the Gotch SEO Academy. I've been a member for a couple of months now, and I've, I've been working my way through the program. Uh, what actually led me to the program was Nathan's free YouTube videos and um, just learning as much as I could from them. I mean, when you sit on YouTube and you look up SEO, there's a million different videos that you could be watching. Some of them are super high level. Some of them are very detailed. What I liked about uh, Nathan's videos was just that he went into enough detail that I could actually understand the process and go and replicate uh, the process. And then I was actually starting to see results. So I figured, hey, you know what? If I'm seeing results from a few free YouTube videos, why not sign up for the whole program and get everything I can out of it? Um, what I've absolutely loved about the program is just learning all of the processes around everything, um, whether it be you know, the way to do things in what order or what vendors to use, who to outreach to, or how to even create certain things. Um, it's been pretty incredible to watch, go through the course and the lessons, and then actually apply everything to whether it be niche sites or client sites and watch every single day as organic traffic increases and we start ranking for more keywords, our domain authority is increasing. Uh, it's been unbelievable. Um, that's what I've absolutely loved about it. I think that I've got a ton more to learn and I'm only well, probably 20% of the way through the Academy and already I've got my money's worth. So thank you very much. Hello, this is Brandon Blau, lead SEO at Key Marketing Group. Right now I'm actually working on onboarding some new clients. We like to do an audit of their site before we bring them on to let them know what it is we think they're doing right, where they can improve and how it is we can help them. SEO is not a one size fit all cookie cutter approach. You really need to examine their industry, the keywords they're going after, their competitors. Uh, making sure that you tailor your strategy directly towards that company is going to yield the best results every time. Uh, and what led you to Gotch SEO Academy and why did you choose to enroll? Truthfully, a lot of our specialists had their own philosophies. SEO is definitely the meeting of science and art. You know, there are there's concrete data that you can look at about positions and volume. But then once you find out where your problem is, how do you execute on that? That's kind of where the artistic approach of this is what I think is the highest value comes into play, prioritizing your tasks. And that's where Gotch SEO Academy has actually come in and helped us a lot. They prioritize everything for you. You look at the keywords and find the most advantageous path forward, the path of least resistance. They may want to rank for keyword A, but you notice that they're already doing very well for B and it has some great volume. Why reinvent the wheel? You've got a great path forward. You can grab some low hanging fruit. And this isn't something that you would be able to pick up in your regular Ahrefs, SEMrush keyword research on your own. This is not only done very well in a singular instance, but at scale, all of the keywords in order with a ranking system. It's beautiful. The, and what is the best thing about Gotch SEO Academy? 100% being able to speak with Mr. Nathan Gotch every Tuesday and Thursday. Although I wish I could make it every week, uh, when I do get the chance to visit those sessions, I learn immense amounts about SEO, about the industry. Um, I'll come in with my own questions and I can ask them point blank to Nathan himself. And the thing that really surprised me, when you show up, other people have excellent questions as well. You might not even know that you needed the answer to something. And someone brings it up and Nathan gives you exactly what you're looking for. The community is strong, well-rounded. Everyone is super friendly. And we've had nothing but positive results from all of the SOPs. Gotch 2.0, Gotch 3.0. I couldn't recommend it more. I'm very happy to continue forward. Best of luck to you.